Howdy folks, Zalgrax here, welcome back to more Baldur's Gate 3, playing as uh, Kaelin Lethalas, the Wood Elf Druid. We are exploring these, uh, this temple here, and uh, technically it's the second time I've got this far exploring this temple. Uh, been having some technical uh, difficulties uh, this morning, unfortunately. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Interesting point. Let's uh, check this guy. Okay, he has some things that we've already taken once. I don't think there was anything over there, so let's just go. Uh, there's nothing over here. Then we went into this room. And then we had like the sorted issues. Their secrets. Okay, let's go light this candle. Do things slightly differently. Quick save. Let's look in this chest. Check in this sarcophagus. That's rather nice. A little great axe thrown in there. Looks like we can't open this one. Okay, we're going to try and open this book again this book is far lighter than it this should is going be better than with such time. a massive log okay unfortunately we we passed this last time i may use the inspiration to make it work we don't need to okay we're good carrying on no So she's got stuck in that dialogue. I don't know how to unstick her. Interesting. And very bad. Um, is she just going to be stuck there forever? Could we say, I don't know, try shoving her? Shoving her? What if we... Hear me out. Shoved her, though. She's not coming out of it. Okay. Um... <clears throat> hmm. Can't be put to sleep, either. Because she's an elf. Um, try knocking her prone. How do we how do we unstick her? Yeah, you should you should have had that up this whole time. Sorry. Um, I don't know how to unstick her. Guidance didn't do anything. Wow, he's really bad at this. Okay, so even when we do a crit. She can't. It's not changing anything. She's just stuck in here. Okay. Apologies, everybody. We're going to have to quickly load this again. This is very strange. I guess we're just not going to interact with this book. It seems to be uh, bugged. While we're loading here. Uh, what was it? Book of Dead Gods? PG3.
Okay, no, I'm not seeing anything that helps, unfortunately. I think it is just bugged. Um, we're going to pick it up. And move on for now. <coughs> okay. We're going to switch uh, Lazel to the Great Axe, because that just makes so much more sense. <coughs> Way better damage output. Um, do we have spirit proficiency? Looks like we do. I guess we'll take that. It is cool looking, uh, anyway. All right, let's uh, let's continue. Apologies for for all of that. I was hoping that we could uh, get all that sorted out. Found a heavy key. Oh, I wonder if that's to that door. Now, who put this chest here? That's terrible placement. Yeah, let's check out this whole top area before we go down there. We've got another scribe and another chest. Interesting pathing. Oh, hello. Very nice. Another scribe over here. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Blue moss. What's this? This appears to be a way out question mark okay can't go that way what about this way okay that is very strange okay you can't go that way but we can go up here <coughs> and where is here here is map Oh, interesting. Off to the side of the ruins. Okay. I guess we might be right at the... No, we're not right at the edge. Here I was thinking we're at the edge of the map. We're definitely not. There's there's room to go that way. Oh, what's this? Zoru. Well, we have a, a location for Zoru. That's nice. Okay, we're not done in there. So let's go back in. Back into the dank crypt. What a great word. Okay, any more scribey people that have stuff? We have a plaque here. That's Jerkel. Scribe of the dead. Didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Interesting. Jurgle the scribe of the dead, eh? Fancy that. Ooh, there appears to be a nice sarcophagus to our uh, right here. Left. Even. Now it's to our right. Ooh, Entombed Warrior. Let's see if he has anything good. He does. He has a scimitar. Uh, can I read this plaque? Probably not. I can't read any of the other ones. Inscription is in a language unknown to you. Okay. Any more little pots up here? Yes. A little pot. Ooh. We found a button. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel like pressing a button. Ooh. I don't remember that cinematic previously. Oh. Maybe I do. I see. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. She's not wrong. Gale. Give me some grease. And then pop in here. Ooh. What do we just get from Explore the Ruins here? Oh, we didn't hit hide completed. Uh, we found a large sarcophagus hidden within the ruins. I see. So we did. Wow, that is some creaky, 
squeaky noises. Um, okay, so there's one guy there who I think is going to be a problem. Can I do anything about that? Probably not, actually. So I'm just going to come in here too, for now. Hello. And then we've got a couple of guys who are going to go before we get to. He's going to run. He's going to run. Shadow heart. Uh, you know what? You've got a shot. Take it. Never mind. Come inside. Lazelle, you've got a shot. Take it. Good shot. Come inside. Oh, I think we may have blocked ourselves in horribly here. Didn't think that through. Oh, we didn't. Lovely. Ooh. Nice work, Gale. Hands up if you saw that coming. Don't put your hands up. Liars. Um, okay. Let's go here. Do we have line of sight? Just about. Oh, we had to go a little further. Oh, that's fine, though. And then you can just pop back in. Lovely. Hey, Wispus. How's it going? Yes, he rattled at me. I'm so scared. Yes, we shouldn't have come this far in. Can you reach? No, not at all. Um, you know what? Let's encourage them forwards now. Lizelle, oh, you can do the same. Especially since you're a bit tanky. I know. Rattling. Deeply disconcerting. You can't reach, so you just stand there. That's fine. Really? I mean, is there nothing we could do? No. Mm. You know what? Hey, let's... Uh... Let's do the old... Uh... Invoke duplicity. Nice. Just give ourselves a little advantage there. Gail, you are just going to uh, get in the way over here. Thanks. Be prepared to do things, but there's nothing I want you to do right now. Yeah. And then I'm just going to come out here. And be prepared to shapeshift as necessary. Because, yeah, we still can't reach, so... Well, maybe we could have went further, but it's fine. Alright, come on, Rattler. That's not close enough. I want people to step into that grease. Oh, we'll just shoot them one at a time if they're just going to wander up to us. It's fine by me. Oh, he took the high ground. Okay, that was really rude. Gale. Do it again. That was way less impressive. I gotta let you know, that was so much less impressive. Uh, Shadowheart. Um, eat some cheese. Good work. And then uh, take a shot. Nice. Uh, ooh, let's. Nice. I really like that counter. That's fun. Uh, okay, we're good. Are you just waiting for me? That's rude. All right, fine. We're going to encourage him to come to us. Hey, good work not falling over. I'm proud of you. 
since he seems to be the last enemy left, I'm not too concerned about uh, setting this grease on fire anymore. I, I'm legitimately impressed with Gale for not falling over. Oh, he got his rare frost off. That's brilliant. Okay. Everyone's done a thing. Here he comes. He's got no weapons. Uh, here, just do it again. That was not a good percentage, actually. I didn't realize quite how bad that was. Um, who's next? Me. Let's have some fun again. Wait, why don't we have... Why can't we borrow? Not enough speed? I've got plenty of speed. What are you talking about? Thanks, Whispers. Appreciate it. I can't borrow on. I'm really sad about that. But I am now a really cool attack badger, so, you know, there is that. Lazel, I guess just do the boring shooting thing. Good work. You can walk down, I suppose. Oh, wrong way. Uh, Gail, you can step down as well. I'm very impressed with everyone for not falling over, I have to say. Go on, attack the badger, see what happens. Bad things happen to those who attack the attack badger. He saved against it. That's sad. Whatever. Gale, clobber him. Lazelle, clobber him. Ooh, she did. She really, really did. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty baubles. Fools. <clears throat> they only attacked after we desecrated a tomb. We should have left this place untouched. Please, save your regrets. This place isn't worthy of them. Let's move. Okay, so Shadowheart doesn't approve of me. I should rest. Right, uh, there's nothing to search. Oh, that's weird. I thought we'd searched everybody. I'm certain we had. Right, let's go see up here then. I love that we can do this in badger form. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Ooh, hello, look at this. Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with the dead. It's a level three spell. We're only level two left. That's fantastic, that is. Uh, let's equip that. I uh, might as well... Oh, we can't right now. Uh, well, let's put it on Shadow Heart. She seems the most applicable. There's a badger just ransacking the tomb. I love that. Right, well, I think we've ransacked everything we can ransack now, aside from this, so let's, uh... Don't ask me how the badge is lighting the candles. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Let's drop a quick save again. All right, badger, open it up. Continue. Oh. Okay, things have taken an interesting turn with the, uh... The dialogue here. What a curious way to awaken... Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? That was a bit intense, wasn't it? <laughs> that lack of voice to speak, because I'm a badger. He's seen enough. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. How bizarre was that? 
because we were in badger form. Wow, did he just make that noise? How long has it been? We're good. I think we're good. All right. Uh, let's just chat to him again. Talk talkative skeleton. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on thy way, as if I were not here. Oh. I must attend this place. Okay. After so many years away. We will see each other again soon. Oh. Um. You seem very certain of that, how? The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. It's a bit rude. Regardless, it will occur. Dude's skin is shriveled up like a prune. Still got really nice eyelashes. Testament to uh, and bone dust. Still comforting after uh -oh. all this time. Not again. Not again. Oh, I think we've frozen again. Again. Ay ay ay. I'm not sure what's causing it. We've definitely been having issues today. I can only apologize. I don't know why it's been so bad. Serious, serious issues here. So sorry. Bear with me. It'll be back up in a second. I think. It usually is. What I don't know is what's being recorded right now. Can you see me? If I do this, I don't know. Uh, I think this is what, the third time this has happened to me today. So, what I'm going to do after... After this one, we're gonna just reboot everything. I don't, I don't know if it's Baldur's Gate that's causing it. If it's a computer issue itself, uh, I mean, the computer's definitely capable of running this game. I'm not like taxing it too hard or anything. So yeah, I'm really not sure. Um, obviously, it's very annoying because, doy. Uh, I believe the stream has died now, so I'm just talking to my folks on YouTube. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you uh, watching. Um, if you're sticking through this, thank you. Uh, oh, what a mess the ages cause. Okay, that was relatively quick. We're back. Um, let's let's go. We got one more key. So uh, this way. I think that if we try to go out this door, we might make it now. Let's find out. Yeah, I know this stream dropped there, but I think the video kept going. We're about to find out. We do indeed have the key. Huzzah! Okay, let us place another save. So, let's look at our log. Right now, the only thing that we have left, because we did everything in the ruins, um, so aside from just talking to our companions here, which we obviously can always do, um, our next thing is to find this Zoru fellow. So if we look on the map, this Zoru fellow is all the way up here. It's quite a long way. 
So we didn't technically fill this little bit in, but I don't think there's going to be access to any. You can kind of see where the map is, you know. So I don't think we're going to have access to anything else over here. There's still this cache that I would really like to get, but I think we have to come at it from the other side. We have to go sort of all the way around and come back down. Um, so that being the case, why don't we fill in this area here and then probably go back to camp. Let's go just hop to the roadside cliffs. That seems easiest. We'll be a little freaky. There we go. And I guess while we're up here, let's go ahead and just. I'll be keeping. Oh, now this is water, so I just want to check sound. something real quick. If I choose to kill you, you will not even That's so see good. It. Okay, this is a really neat thing. That it turns to ice for a while. Big fan of that. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna walk around that. No, we're gonna try and walk over it. Cool. Shadow heart nearly fell. That would have been humorous. So where's there's a way down and then there's that there okay so it doesn't look like there's any more map over there does it really doesn't definitely feels like that's the edge um, but there may be like you know up here you may be able to go further over I'm not sure it just feels like the map has more room over there you know if you consider this yeah it feels like there's maybe a bit more room over there I don't know um, so I think let's let's go to camp let's talk to our, our peeps uh, they kept saying they wanted to rest so let's go to camp and rest What on earth? Why are there two gales? What are you doing? Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? I don't think I've seen this before. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? <sighs> Until quite recently, nothing at all. Ah, yes. The good old days. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Not. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? I do, but you might as well finish six, the picture. The flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. This is the annotated version, of course. We should have a fever by now, green skin even. Exactly. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is... abnormal. Long live the abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Hmm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Go ahead. I'm listening. Tell me a bit more about Let's yourself. See. I hail from Waterdeep, the city of splendors. I'm a wizard of considerable and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a 
cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. I didn't ask for his dating profile. Uh, you're trying to brush me off. Don't you have anything other than generalities to offer? Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. I will change the subject. I don't feel the need to pry. Let's talk to Shadowheart. I couldn't help but over here. Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange. It's added a lot. It's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Sounds like it has plans for us. Whatever they were, those plans were interrupted by the dragons. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. Mastarian? I saw you getting a lecture from our magical friend. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no, not a tentacle to be seen. That's what everyone's saying, is it so strange? It's unexpected, but we shan't complain. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. Not sure. How would you like it to I go? I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. One good swing and then... nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What'll it be? Hmm, decapitation. A fine choice. Now, to use sword or axe. Or saw. Hmm. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst-case scenario. Obviously. Obviously. But that won't happen. It can't. If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. Let's have a little chat with Lizelle quickly. Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache. Our mouths should bleed. Yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. Okay, that was an interesting chat. Um, let's just go look at our traveler's chest. Wow, look at the value in there. 2400 Weird. There seems to be a uh, issue with the like mapping here. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I think this is where we will uh, end for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Apologies again for all of the weird mechanical interruptions. Really don't know what happened there. Hopefully, it hasn't uh, messed up the videos too much. I honestly don't know. We'll see. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.